কি যেন ওটা বল হ্যাঁ অভিদু সুদীপ বলছি বলছি সারা তো কই জয়েন করছে না ও কি করবে না বলেছিল ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে রাখছি
হ্যালো আচ্ছা 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 ঠিক আছে আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে
Bonjour, Sarah. Can you hear me, Sarah? Yes, so. Okay. Okay, uh, so tell me what have we done in the last class? In the last class, uh, we completed weekdays and months of the year. Okay, and numbers also, isn't it? Numbers, we had completed the class before that. Okay. Uh, so, this class, we start the conjugation. Okay. Ha we haven't done it so far, isn't it? We have not started the conjugation. Okay. So, first we should know what is conjugation. To conjugate means to put two things together. Okay. So, what are these two things? <clears throat> these two things are the subject and the verb in a sentence. Okay. So, tell me, have, we, uh, have I given you some idea of the verbs, French verbs? Their roots and their endings, have we done that? Okay. So, uh, first, let us see how many kinds of subjects can there be. Okay. Okay. Because subject and verb, they are conjugated together. So, when they are conjugated together, the verb changes. The verb changes according to the subject. Okay. Like it happens in English also. Like, see this sentence. I go. Okay. The verb is go. So, and the subject is I. Okay. I go. But when we say he, when he becomes the subject, the verb becomes goes. He goes. So, the verb changes. Okay. According to the subject. But in English, it is only in the case of third person singular number. That is he. Only in the cases of third person singular number, the verb changes. But in French, in all the categories, in all the uh, uh, all types of subjects, the verb keeps on changing. Okay. So first, let us know how many type of subjects can there be. Okay. So the first person, one second. First person, singular number. First person singular number, what is it? In English, it is I. Okay. First person singular number. In English, it is I. In French, we call it Je. 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 <coughs> okay. Means Je. I. And then what is the second person singular number? Second person singular number is... 2s means second person singular number. Okay. It is 2. In yeah. French, it is 2. In English, it is you. Okay. Second person singular number. And what is third person singular? Sorry. What is third person singular number? In English, it is he or she. In English, it is he or she. Okay, in so French, it should be uh, ill or l. Exactly, it is ill or one second. Let me change the type of keyboard. It is e ill or l. Okay, third person singular number. And if it is, then if we come to the plural, if it is first person plural. First person, plural number. Okay. In English, it is we. Okay. In French, it is nous. It is nous, means we. Okay. Then, second person, plural number. 
In English, it is you. Why you, you? In plural form, in the plural sense. Okay, you. In French, it is vous. Okay. okay, now in this connection, I must say that vous can be used in singular as well as plural also. Okay, why? Mm -hmm. When we speak to someone, someone elder than us yeah. or someone whom we don't know very well, someone respectable, in that case, in singular also we use vu. Okay, in singular also we use vu. When this person is senior to us, when this person is respectable, or when a person whom we know don't know very, very well, in that case we use vu in the singular also. But generally vu is in plural. Okay, second person plural. Okay, now third person plural. In English, it is they. Okay. But in French, they also have either maybe it is uh, masculine or feminine. Okay. Suppose a group of uh, ladies, then it will be feminine they. And suppose it is a group of uh, males, then it is masculine uh, they. Okay. Understood? Sure. Okay, now, okay, now, il, il, or l, l, like this. It will be il or l, but with s. Yes, exactly. Now, see, ils or e double l es. Okay, pronunciation is same, il or l. Yes, exactly, same, il or l. <coughs> okay. Now, what happens? Hello, can you hear me, Sara? <coughs> Hello? Sara? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Now, now verbs are any verb. It can be either regular or irregular. Okay, it can be either regular or irregular. What is a regular verb? A regular verb is a is is that verb which is follow that verb a rule. Follow. Okay, you mute yourself. It is equine. Okay, you mute yourself. It is equine. Okay, a regular verb is a is that verb which follow a certain rule while conjugating. If you know one verb, you can do any verb. All regular verbs are like that, okay? If you know the conjugation of one verb, you can do the conjugation of any verb. Okay, in French, all year ending verbs are regular verbs. Okay, you know the endings? There are four types of endings. Okay, we have done it in the past. We have done it. Okay, so, if we know the conjugation of one year ending verb, we can do the conjugation of any year ending verb, okay? So let us take, for example, a verb, parley. That means to speak. Okay, parley means to speak. So what is the root of this verb? The root is P-A-R-L is the root. And then we add the ending, E-R. Okay, so remember, the, in the conjugation of regular verbs, the root never change. Okay, the root never changes. Okay, so only the ending is changed. The, the ending keeps on changing. So here, ER keeps on changing, but the PARL part, that is the root which doesn't change, which never changes. Okay, so like if I say I speak, okay, jo, then P A R L, which never changes, then we add E, so it becomes jo par. E. So it becomes jo par. Okay, so here P A R L part is never changed, only after that we add E. 
okay it becomes jo parle then this is the first person singular then it, if it is second person singular okay what is okay. it tu tu parle exactly tu parle how to say p a r l then we add e s then we add e s e s exactly tu parle p a r l e s tu parle then if it is third person singular what happens il or l then p a r l then we add e il parl or el parl oh. okay then in the case of first person plural okay nu then p a r l then we add o n s o n s and it becomes nu parlon nu parlon okay nu parlon okay then second person plural that is vu 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 parle exactly very good vu p a r l then we add e, e z and it becomes vu parle understood vu parle then third person plural that is i l s means il or l e l l e s p a r l then we add e n t okay remember in the case of third person plural this final e n t is never pronounced okay so we speak we say speak so, we say il par or el par okay so what have we added to this verb like this e e s e then o n s e z and e n t so yo par tu par il par then nu parlo vu parle il par understood any question okay now this verb donne donne means to give you conjugate this verb with the subjects right here Je donne, tu donne, il donne, nous donnons, vous donnez, il donne. Ok, now pronounce them. Je donne, no, tu donnes. Je donne. Je donne. 
je donne, tu donnes, il donne, elle donne, nous donnons, nous, nous, nous donnons, donnons, vous don, donnez, vous, vous donnez, vous donnez, il donne, no, il donne, il donne. Because the final il ENT, don. final ENT is not pronounced. We only pronounce D O double N. So il don or il don. Okay. So what okay. are they? Jo don, tu don, il don. Same pronunciation. Don. Then nu donno, vu donne, vous and donne. then same pronunciation. Il, il don. don. Understood. This is true of any verb. Any year ending verb. Okay. Wait a second. Okay, this verb you see, blessé means to heart. Okay, conjugate this verb. Okay, remember, in French, there is no difference between indefinite tense and continuous tense. So, I am going and I go, there are no differences. Okay, they both mean the same. Je blesse, tu bless, il bless, nous blessons, vous blessez, il bless. Very good, perfect. Now I pronounce them. Pronounce them. 
Je blesse, tu blesses, elle blesse, elle blesse. Nous blessons, vous, vous blessez, vous blessez, vous blessez, vous blessez, elle blesse, elle blesse. Very good, perfect. Okay, very good. Now, mm, How to say in French this this sentence? Write it out. Il parle français. French bolvena. Don't say French because the word French in French the is word français. French in French is français. Okay. Il parle français. Very good. Il parle français. Okay. Now. They dance very well. Okay. The verb is danser. Danser. And very well is très bien. Très bien. Now you write this sentence. Il danse très bien. Very good. Very good. Now I pronounce this sentence. Pronounce. They dance very well. Il danse très bien. Il danse très bien. Il danse. Don't, don't, don't use the translator. Okay. Because you will not understand why it is so. Okay. Try to do it on your own. Okay. Can you repeat the pronunciation? Il danse très bien. Il danse très bien. Il okay. danse très bien. Okay. That means they dance very well. Okay. Very good. Then. Um,
she sings bengali songs okay the verb what sing, is bengali songs the, okay, uh, okay i'll tell you sing the verb sing is shante to sing is shante okay uh song is chanson okay and bengali is bongali bongali now you write this sentence Elshan, Bengali chanson. No. In French, generally the adjective uh, succeeds uh, the succeed. noun. Okay, that means adjective is placed. Adjective is placed after the noun. After the noun. That means uh, Elshan. Elshan. El. Elshan. Acha. No, not shan. Shan. Because C. Elshan. Okay, because C. Uh, if there is e at the end of a word, the previous consonant is pronounced. Okay, so in the word shon, okay. there is e at the end, so the previous t is pronounced. So we pronounce like l shon, l shon. The Bengali songs. Okay, you cannot write a noun without an article. So le chanson. Bengali and Bengali is also in the plural. Why? Because chanson is plural, so the adjective should be also plural. Okay. Okay. Like this. Elle chante les chansons Bengali. Bengali is the adjective. The noun is chanson, as chanson is plural, so Bengali is also plural, okay? Not like English. In English, we do not do these things, okay? But in French, you have to be careful. Okay. 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 okay, so you are starting to write French sentences. Very good. Then... Uh, See this sentence, we hide the umbrella. Okay, what is umbrella? Okay, first the, the, the verb hide. To hide is kashe. Kashe, okay. And, and umbrella is paraplui. Very good, paraplui. Now you write this sentence.
Very good. No cachon, no parapluie. Très bien. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Now, the next thing we do. So now you know how we do the conjugation of year ending verbs. Okay. But there are some minor variations of the year ending verbs. Okay. There are some minor changes one needs, needs to make to do the conjugation of these verbs. Okay. Like those verbs that begin with a vowel. Year ending verbs. Year ending verbs. Beginning with. Beginning with a vowel. Okay, like the verb C, for example, the verb A me means to love or to like. Okay, the verb A me means to love or to like. How to begin the conjugation of this verb? Okay, as this verb begins with a vowel, generally what we write, I am writing the wrong one first. Okay, then I will correct it. The first con conjugation it should be, it should be like this, isn't it? But it is wrong. Why it is wrong? Because, because it ends should with be the J apostrophe. Exactly, because Jo ends with a vowel and Eme begins with a vowel. So two vowels are placed side by side. In those cases, we cut off one vowel, okay, and put an apostrophe. So it should be like Jem. Okay, like this. Jem. But it is only in the first person singular. In the case of two, it doesn't change. Two m, okay. We do not cut up, cut up, cut up with the vowel here. It is normal. Two m, okay, and it continues unchanged the remaining part, okay. Okay, now. There is a verb, atrape means to catch. Conjugate this verb. Now you pronounce them. Jatra. 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 Tuatra. Very good. Eletra. 
El atraf. No atrapo. Here we make. No atrape. Listen. Here we make the liaison. So we say no atrapo. Because no ends with a consonant and atrapo begins with a vowel. When a, a vowel is placed after the consonant, we make, we join them together. This is called liaison. Okay, in French. Okay. So we say no atrapo. Otherwise, no itself is no, but as it follow, it is followed by atrapo. We say no atrapo. No atrapo, no atrape, el atrap, el atrap, el atrap, el atrap, el atrap, el atrap. Very good, very good. Now, do this verb. Okay, imagine. Imagine means to imagine. One second. Okay, pronounce. The verb is pronounced as in my. Imagine. 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 Ja imagine. No. The finally, if there is e at the end, we pronounce the the consonant before. So, in the first one, 
there is e at the end this Enlarge. one pronounce the, the the end before the previous n so it is jimajin jimajin okay so jo how it is pronounced it depends on the following verb uh, in the uh, in the verb before we pronounce jatra because there were a at the uh, after jo okay so as there was a after jo we pronounce as jatra but here i after jo so we pronounce jimajin okay jimajin then to imagine very good to imagine el imagine very good el imagine 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 news imagine news imagino news imagino news imagine Imagino. Nous imaginons. Imagine. Vous imaginez. Vous imaginez. Final Z is not pronounced. Et Vous imaginez. Only. Vous imaginez. Ils imaginent. No, ils imaginent. Ils imaginent. Ils imaginent. Ils imaginent. Ils imaginent. Exactly, but uh, in itself, ILS is ill, okay, and E double L E S is L, but as there is liaison, we are pronouncing the S, okay. Okay. This is also true of nu and vu. In itself, it is nu. In itself, it is vu. But as there is liaison, we pronouncing nu zimagino, nu zimagino, and vu zimagini. Okay. Nous imaginons and vous imaginez. Okay. Now, so this is uh, a verb, a, an ear ending verb beginning with a vowel. Okay. Now we see a verb. This verb, mange means to eat so what type of ear ending verb is it it is an ear ending verb where the root a ending with g one second okay see the root ending with G. What is the root? M A N G is the root and E R is the ending. Okay. So here the root is ending with G. Isn't it? There are generally three types of uh, uh, variations. One we have done earlier, beginning with a vowel, and this one is the root ending with g understood okay so we pronounce it as manger m a n g e r manger okay so see manger so manger if there is this vowel g a we pronounce as ga then g e we pronounce as j then g i we pronounce as G and G O we pronounce as go and G U we pronounce as G. That's G. So we have seen all the vowels with G. Only in the case of G E and G I that we pronounce J or G. Otherwise, it is go. Okay. Go, gu, ga. Okay. Only ge is j and gi is g. Okay. You will see why I, so I, I am saying this. Okay. So let us conjugate this verb. Jo, 
Mange. M A N G then E. Je mange. Okay. Then tu mange. Tu mange. Then il mange. Now here the, now there will be some changes okay some variations what happens i am writing the wrong one first then i'll correct i'll make it make corrections the wrong one should be nu then m a n g then we add o n s this is a wrong one why it is wrong because G O, I have told G O gives the sound of go. Okay. So it becomes nu mongo. Okay. But we cannot do that because the verb is manger. So we have to make something so that it sounds like mangeant. Understood? This is very important. Listen carefully. Now, at this point, it is nu mongo. But we have to make something. So that it sounds like no more Jean. Okay. We have to make some corrections so that it sounds like no more Jean. So what can you do? No. We put a E to in between. No. Now you see what happens. We have put an E between G and O. Okay. We have already said that G of E after G gives the sound of Jo. Okay. G and Jo. Okay. So it is Nu Mojan. Now. Now it is Nu Mojan. If we do not put this E, then it would sound like Nu Mongon. Understood? Tell me. Any question? Okay. So it is Nu Mojan. Then, vous, it is simple, like others. Vous mangez. Why it is like others? Because there is already an E. Vous mangez. Then, il mange. There is already an E. Il mange. Understood? Only in the case of nu, we had to make some corrections. We have to put an e in between. Okay, now um, Sange means to dream. Okay. Uh, conjugate this verb. Sange means to dream.
Very good. Perfect. Very good. You pronounce once. Pronounce. Josh. Very good. Josh. Very good. El Sosh. El Sosh. No. Normal. No Sojan. No Sojan. Vous songez. Vous songez. Vous songez. Il songez. Non, il songe. Uh, il songe. Elle songe. Very good. Very good. Now, you do this part. Carefully do this part. Arrange means to arrange.
One second. Okay, very good. Now you pronounce them. Should I pronounce them? Yes, yes, you pronounce them. Jorange? No, Jarange. Jar because yeah, after J, there is A. After J, there is A. So uh, simply we pronounce as we pronounce in English. Okay, so it is Jarange. Then Jarange, two orange, two orange, orange, il orange, il, il orange, not you don't pronounce the n, it is orange, it is not orange, it is orange. Ela Roche, Ela Roche. Very good. Nous Aron. Nous Arrangeons. Nous Arrangeons. Very good. Vous Arrangez. Vous Arrangez. Vous Arrangez. Ils Aron. Ils Arrange. Ils Arrange. Ils Arrange. Els orange. Els orange. Okay, very good. Okay, one second. Okay, so these are some variations. There is a, uh, one other variations remaining also. We do it in the next class. Okay, only one is left. We do it in the next class and then we move forward. Okay, okay, so uh, uh, at home, see yeah. those things that we have done so far. Okay, we'll discuss them in the next class. Okay, over, over, bon soirée. Au revoir. Au revoir.